Talk a little bit about the business. We've been describing it in a shorthand fashion as uh, being a competitor to Shopify. Of course, a now $130 billion market cap company. Um, is that an app description? What is the, the distinctions between what you do in terms of uh, producing online marketplaces and what they do? Yeah, we're, BitCommerce is a software platform used by 60,000 businesses around the world to create beautiful, successful e-commerce stores. We're a software as a service platform like them. We're the two biggest in the world. BigCommerce differentiates by having far more enterprise functionality built into it and being much more open and flexible. We allow our customers to configure every part of their e-commerce operations from the platform to payments, point of sale, fulfillment, shipping, marketing, to exactly their business requirements. And so we end up being a better fit for established companies, complex companies, uh, business to business and business to consumer selling. So more established companies, in other words, uh, less likely to be uh, the ideal fit for just a, you know, individual startup uh, that is merely getting going. Interestingly, uh, BigCommerce started as an SMB centric platform like mm -hmm. them. And over time, as our customers have grown, so has our focus on serving the mid market and enterprise segments, including, you know, 30 of the Forbes Global 2000 largest companies. Uh, Julia Borston here. I think it's really interesting how broad your assortment of partners are. Google, Amazon, eBay, but also Facebook and Instagram. We just heard a lot from Facebook in its earnings report about how important commerce for these small and medium-sized businesses are going to be for that platform. How important is it for you to have the social media piece of it to drive awareness of, of them trying to do e-commerce? Extremely important. Uh, BitCommerce has been a partner to Facebook and Instagram from the beginning of shops and e-commerce on those platforms. Many of our customers have found them to be among their most effective marketing channels, whether that is re-engaging existing customers or using their lookalike targeting capabilities. So we're big fans of what uh, Facebook and Instagram and social media in general can do for businesses trying to grow. Uh, Brian, it might become a standard question here for companies that do come public in a traditional way, but I'm wondering if you considered, you know, merging with one of these SPACs, a special purpose acquisition company. I know that Tiger Global did uh, subscribe for a large portion of the IPO, but if, if we see this stock soar in the debut and that's uh, what people refer to as money left on the table, was that a, a part of your thought process? Uh, BitCommerce did not consider the SPAC option. That's really best suited to companies who already have all the capital on the balance sheet that they need. We needed to raise money, in essence, to fuel our global expansion, further product investment, and so a traditional IPO was the better route for us.